easily beat the Dark Elixir challenge with this deck. This challenge goes up to 12 wins and the unique thing about this challenge is Dark Elixir randomly falls from the sky. If your troop is inside this Dark Elixir area, they get a super rage effect, meaning faster attack speed and faster movement speed. The downside is they take double damage. Because of that, the best deck for this challenge is this deck here, a zap bait deck. You get the benefit of of the super rage without the downside of the double damage. A few things to know is evolutions are active inside this challenge, but this deck does not require any evolution, so super free to play friendly. And if you guys do not have a Skeleton King, you can replace it with a Valkyrie. So let's hop right into a game. Okay, into a game. My number one piece of advice with this deck is to play your game normally. If you can benefit from the super rage, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Think of it as a nice little bonus that you're going to get every now and then, but do not overextend for the bonus. Anyway, we arrows away that firecracker. Skeletons on the tower doing some good damage. That is beautiful and exactly what you want to see. We are going to play bats here for this Mega Knight. It will jump onto my tower, but that's okay. He plays a furnace, that's fine. I'm going to play my very own furnace. And you guys can see the furnace gets affected by the super rage. So that is something to keep in mind. He goes princess at the bridge, that's fine. We are going to play a dark goblin here. Going to snipe away that princess and then help me out on offense. That is beautiful stuff. Super rage spawned on my dark goblin, giving him a little speed boost. Minions get taken out by the fire spirits. We are going to skeleton bow at the bridge and then play a Skeleton King at the back. Super Rage once again helping me out, beautiful stuff, doing amazing damage. Going to play my Cannon Cart here, so we get the King Tower activated, and then go for Bats on top of this Firecracker to take her out. Very easy defense, going to use my Skeleton King ability on the left side, and you guys can just see how easy this deck is to play, it's very dominant. Going to just set up a Furnace, it's annoying, he's going to have to defend every single Fire Spirit, otherwise he loses his tower. He does go with a princess, so we are just going to arrows that away. Again, making him defend every single fire spirit. He goes evolve firecracker, that's fine. Like I said, evolutions are active inside this challenge, but this deck doesn't need them. Dark Goblin doesn't quite take out the firecracker, but we do take his tower. Anyway, firecracker going to get taken out here. Going to go for a Skarmy on top of this Hog Rider. Going to go with a Skeleton King in the pocket. And really it's game over. Nothing this guy can do. And we will throw this guy the good game. And just like that, we got 12 and 0. A super easy deck to play. A super easy challenge. We are going to claim these 2000 season tokens. Of course, I will show my battle log so you guys can see I didn't reset. And like I said, my number one tip for this deck is just to play normally. But yo, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, make sure you leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. And as always, Always make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Woo!